Okay, I want to show you the view new window command. It doesn't always work well here at home, um, but let me see if I can make this happen. So we're going to go to view, ribbon, and we have the new window command. Now notice that I just saved this file as O2Z junk. Of course it has the extent extension docx and when I click the new window command it's going to open a second well it's not exactly a second document it's like a copy of the first document and I'll just pull it down here so you can see that the one that it opened is the exact same but it has a two right here so this is only a temporary copy and I am going to just attempt to use my one monitor here and see if I can line this one up here and take this one and make number one over here. Now normally you, I would ask you to put the first document on one monitor and the second document on the other monitor. And the reason that this is so helpful is because on the one monitor you can keep the instructions at the top and it tells you page one turn uh, the family heading purple and I'm going to work on the second copy here so you're going to pretend that this is your second monitor and you're going to come over here and you're going to make that purple. And then when you go back to the instructions, it says now you need to go to page two. So you can press your page down key on your keyboard to uh, quickly get down to page two. And then when you click into it on your status bar, it will tell you page two of two and look for William Shakespeare's place right here and it tells you to underline it and you can go ahead and select it and underline it and then page three or I'm just going to scroll down to page three and you see the word intro so the reason this is so handy is because whatever you do on the second copy you can see that it's happening on the first copy. It's all the same document. It's just displayed in two different windows. And when you close the second window, so let's finish bolding this on this second window here. And I'll even do the last thing here on page four. Uh, underline this one. So I have a lot of exercises that you need to navigate uh, through the document and sometimes you need the instructions to stay and that's what this is good for. And now I'm going to maximize this document here and show you that this was the number one. Uh, but I'm going to close it and that leaves number what was to open but the two is now gone because there's only the original left here but you can see that family's been changed and if we go down to page two that one is underlined and in page three that one is bolded so the changes happen to both documents and uh, it's just a great way to keep instructions on one window and work in the second window